Welcome to this week's Bon Appa Cat, where we have a special guest star. Carrie and I were taking a walk, and we walked by a storm drain, and we heard this little mew 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 noise, and we knew we had to step up and save a life. Now, uh, we weren't we weren't looking for a cat. We weren't expecting a cat, but we got a cat. And right now, this cat is hungry. He's been with us for a few days, and he was extremely malnourished when we found him. He was filthy and flea-ridden. We'll talk about how we defeated the fleas in a flea protocol maybe later. And uh, so we want this guy to eat the best that he can, so let's show you what we get this guy to eat. Come down to our ingredients. We have here... <laughs> Sardines from a uh, can of sardines in water. And we have some canned tuna as well. We'll be switching his meats up to fresh meat very soon, as you'll see right here, to supplement that because he can't get all of his vitamins and minerals and amino acids that he needs from seafood. So we bought him some organic, free range, 100% grass fed ground beef, which is very interested in. So I'm going to give him about half of this ground beef. Right here, kitty. Here. He loves the sardines. Yeah, he's going straight like he's a, a good bullet. Good vitamin D for... He's got a good nose. No, don't you know that. You know, they tell you not to film the children or animals. I'm starting <laughs> to sympathize with that. I'm going to break this beef up a little bit for him. Because otherwise he gets his paws in there and they come out all greasy. Look at this kitty kitty. You hear him burn? I hear him burn. But for now, and another key piece is you want to keep your cat where you feed them away from the litter box. So we've got the litter box in a whole other room. And we feed him right here in the kitchen with us. Cats don't have a very strong thirst instinct, so he's not drinking any water, but we do leave milk out for him every day. And look at that, he went for the ground beef first, and then a bite of tuna, and as soon as he sees that sardine, he's going to go for it. So we're going to go shopping, we're going to go visit a butcher and look for some organ meats tomorrow. I'm looking for chicken hearts, avian hearts, um, some liver, and some kind of pork. I'll probably get some more, try to find some decent ground pork for the little kitty, because I think pork has thiamine that the other meats don't. I'm not sure. Uh, seafood leeches that, so they really need it. With so them. there you go. That's my co-star. His name is... What? <laughs> Sir Ferdinand. So Ernest Hemingway said that cats have many names, none of which they will ever tell you. In this case, we found him in a storm drain, so I wanted to call him Runoff. Carrie wants to call him Storm, or The Storm. Uh, I want to call him Draino, because he was in a drain. But uh, we've settled on Storm. In Japanese, Storm is Eno, so I call him Eno sometimes. And uh, his full title is the Royal Archduke... Ferdinand Pendleton Covington III, the Duke and Earl of Covington, if I'm not mistaken. Since he was in a starvation situation, and he's such a little kitten, he's a growing boy, uh, we're just letting him eat as much as he can until he stops. So if he eats all this out of the bowl, I'll probably even add more. And then once he stops eating, we just take it away from him. We're going to let him regulate that until he starts to get fat. <laughs> <laughs> so. Thanks for joining us. We'll try to, uh, if you want to see more kitten videos in the future, let us know in the comments below. Feel free to hit like and subscribe, and God bless. <laughs> Welcome to this week's Bone Appa Cat. <laughs> I guess this is my life now. Did I make it funny or else? I think I made it funny or else. <laughs>